So um, let's get started. Uh, so today I'm going to take a look at fundamentals. So last, a couple weeks ago, I sent out a poll on my YouTube community, which is the, just the tab on my, on my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, you guys said you wanted more fundamentals stuff. So today I'm going to take a look at this piece and apply a basic fundamental. Like what is the fundamental and how do we fuse it and combine it with this portrait? And how does this portrait miss that fundamental? So the fundamental this portrait is missing is the fundamental, basic fundamental form theory that has to do with the with core shadow, core shadow physics, which is the core shadow you have here is non-existent for the head. So fundamentals 101 means that you know how to render basic spheres. And then out of those spheres, we get a cylinder, I mean, as, um, an, uh, an oval. Uh, and out of that oval, we obviously move forward into the face. So this face here has shadows on the top of the head, shot, no, barely any shadows on the bottom of the head, and it just doesn't feel like there's any light shining on this. So fundamentals 101, step one, even all my private tutoring students, advanced or, uh, or beginner, they all have the same lesson. I give them all the same entry speech. This is like the intro speech to all my private tutoring students. And here it is. Whenever we paint, we paint with the light in mind. Write that back to me. That's fundamental number one. So how do you exercise that? How do you prove that you're doing that? By studying basic shapes. All advanced shapes can be boiled down into basic shapes. Write that back to me. When I say write that back to me, I'm just saying write that down so that you can get a written version of that in your memory, but also write it down in your notebook. So if everything can be broken down into basic shapes, every possible thing, everything, an elephant, a face, a, a Lamborghini, whatever can be broken down into basic shapes that means that we can draw everything draw draw keyword draw all right with lines <clears throat> and if rendering means that we're always thinking about the light source shining on certain shapes that means we can render and paint everything so that means all you have to do is learn how to paint. I mean, even these three shapes is fine. Learn how to paint all of these shapes in light source as a form study, and you'll be able to transfer all that back to a specific subject, such as a face or a Lamborghini or an elephant. So if you know how to render basic shapes in light, you know how to render everything. Write that back. So this object, I'm going to turn him into back into his original native shape, which is that sphere. Every face can be boiled down, the basics of every face, every head, can be boiled down into this basic shape. All right, so this is Portrait Studio. It's on sale, by the way, and will be until the end of the month. Um, so this basic shape right here, which is this sphere, we can track down all of its behavior and see how it basically mimics this portrait. All right, so let me just shrink it. And then just overlap the two. Okay, and I'm just basically zoom them out on purpose. So yeah, push it too far ahead. Okay, so this basic bee woman <laughs> is exactly what I'm talking about is that the the shade the shadows so when I superimpose them there's something in your mind should click right about now is that the shadows we see on the lower part of her jaw the lower part of her head are very similar to the way the shadows are working with the sphere so that's what we're doing here we're reverse engineering the head and that's it but it doesn't stop there because the head is very intricate and has a lot of details and has a lot of this and that so what goes into picking the right value for the object? What goes into picking the right value for the head, etc.? cetera? Um, all of that comes from asking yourself what the <clears throat> skin tone is, the complexion is of the character, um, the light source, the room, all of that. What's the light environment? What's happening in the weather? Those are all really advanced questions to ask when building a scenario and building a scene. 
but 14 day challengers and form study challengers aren't really expected to make such complex lighting decisions. They're just supposed to learn how to paint a basic sphere in top down light with the light coming in from the top. So you're not painting light that's head on because this is worthless to artists. This light is worthless to you. Write that back to me. Head on light, camera light is worthless to you, to your education. Because there is nothing about this that promotes any kind of form awareness. It's really, really accommodating the line dependence because see that shadow is outlining the head. When you start thinking about light as directional, it is directional here as much as it is here, but here it's less easy for a student to deconstruct and tricks the student a lot easier than this one where, it, oh, whoa, there's a cast shadow. What does that mean? That means the light is a vanishing point. So when we think of the light source as top down, and then we think about the next advanced step to take, what happens? We start thinking about the head as a basic form in light. And I'm just adjusting the shadow. Right? All I did was I got this sphere and extended it. I found that shadow, which I call the beard shadow because it's a wonderful way for students to remember stuff. Students really respond to funny little, you know, stuff like that. And that this is what you'll find in my in my in my um, master class. This is not a, a step that I skip, just because I now call it master class. The only reason why something is a master class is because I followed every possible step until the final render. But the basics are all the same. And it's it may, you, you may think this is all too easy for you and oh, this is you're above this. You're not you're not above this. Because basics, though they look simple, don't mean simple in the sense that it's um, that it's basic information that's just given before the shadows are pulling at the top after all right that's step one to having more realism in your work once you figure that out everything else falls into place because then you start treating everything the same for this particular student some beginner mistakes they made and these are like these are these are up there these are up there with line dependence like this is one of the bigger beginner mistakes to make is you painted the iris and the pupil you have so much mileage ahead of you to turn every piece into a masterpiece is to slow down your progress not everything is a masterpiece stop doing masterpieces okay so stop trying to entertain yourself Okay, so what I did was, obviously, I made the eyes less circular because the human eye ball is circular, but the indication of the skin and the muscles above the, above the, the, the dermal layer, like on the dermal layer, as, as seen from outside, all of the skin layers, um, the eye becomes elongated because we can't pop the eyeball out of the head so that we can see the whole eyeball. We see like 30% of the eyeball once we're looking from the outside in. So the indication is a wide, um, a wide uh, shape. It's not a perfectly squared sphere. All right. So I'll show you what thinking about fundamentals does to your paintings. I'll show you the before and after. And for those who want an even deeper class than today, for those who want um, even more in depth, but in my teaching style, this is exactly how I how I designed my master class. My master class is extremely beginner friendly. What does beginner friendly mean? It not only means easy to digest because I don't really try to use, I don't try to sound smart. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't try to paint it as if it's its own little world and no one's invited. I am painting for the people who have never used digital painting, who have only just downloaded Photoshop. I teach for those who have only just started applying paint on Photoshop. Like they, they, they just started their world of, of painting and attempting a 14 day challenge or something, but also beginner friendly in the sense that I don't just skip over fundamental knowledge like the forms. I don't, I don't just skip over that stuff and just say, oh, that's a given. Everybody should know that. I explain everything as if it's not a given and it isn't because not enough artists out there are teaching fundamentals and a lot are just teaching those fun go-to styles. Um, for making cute little characters. But for those who take their portraits a little more seriously, that's is, this is exactly what my, my master class is designed for. And it's on sale at the moment. The sale will end in October. It went down from $90 to around $55, I believe. All right, so this was the before. 
and this is the after. All right, so those that pupil and iris you added were just there was there was it was pointless because it was just decorative and it was stopping you from seeing that you had no structure to the eye. But before, after. Basic fundamentals and what made the majority of these changes possible is our little spheres here. All right, so this was fundamentals 101. This was how and why do we study form studies for portraits? Why do we study basic shapes? Put together, they make a face, but separately, they're simple, very easy to digest subjects, subject matter. Um, and if you learn how to render those, and if you learn how to draw those, you can draw anything. But if you learn how to render those, you can paint anything. But if you want to get good in a short amount of time, but not artificial skill, actual skill, form studies and basic fundamentals are the way to go. So if you learn something today, please consider joining as a $1 patron on Patreon. It's a small amount. It's untraceable, but it's a lot when everybody joins. So if you did learn something, please go to my website, istabrak.com, and click on the Patreon uh, uh, link here, and it'll take you to my Patreon. Please join as a watcher. Um, and if you want to join my Discord community, currently we have a Sketchtober running. We just finished Sketchtember. I'll be doing a video for both of those very soon. Um, go to my community tab and join my Discord server. The today I announced here, if you're having trouble getting my notifications, if you subscribed to me 10 years ago and forgot and you only just got a notification for some reason um, uh, and you don't want to have to deal with that anymore, join the Discord server. We're nearing a thousand uh, members and um, all of them are getting their notifications now, so please make sure you join us there. Um, and Portrait Studio and my Masterclass are both on sale at almost 50% off. So you saw me use Portrait Studio today and you are basically looking at a sample of what my master class is like. So it's three and a half hours of content dedicated to drawing the perfect front view face and it's style friendly, beginner friendly, and it even helps advanced students know what to do to push their portraits a little bit further. Um, and it's obviously a female. I will be updating it very soon and I will be releasing uh, a whole separate master class for three quarter view female. Um, but I'll let you guys go. Thank you everyone for coming today. Bye guys.